Food in Japan is good, food in Japan is delicious, but is it the same for their fast food burgers? So what we got here is McDonald's sausage McMuffin with egg that we're gonna try. Before we go to the main Japanese burger chain, we also have to try our Japanese making their McDonald's also better. So when the country has a really good food culture, they should make the food also better. So the people here who are used to with good flavors, with good dishes, they should also be used to with good fast food global chains. The one thing already is nice that when you get the bun, the bread actually feels good quality. The egg is really, really, really thick. And there's also a patty here, you can see. It doesn't actually look half that bad. Let's see how does it taste. Mm -hmm. The bread is still quite juicy, which is, at least from my experience, it's been quite dry. The egg is yeah, a bit rubbery. But overall, when you have one bite of this breakfast dish, it's, it's quite decent. One thing we also have to try is their hash brown. It seems to be also quite popular in the morning menu. So I also really wanted to try this one. It's really simple, this hash brown, but actually it's really pleasing. It's so crunchy on the top, juicy on the inside. Mm, not bad. I mean, at the end, McDonald's. Is McDonald's, but still, I think individual countries make it a little bit different. Definitely try this in Japan because it's good, but what you should try in Japan is coming up next. So, you saw McDonald's, but now we're gonna go to Japanese fast food burger place that's a little bit more high end. The owner of this place. When he went to US, he got so inspired by the burgers there. So when he came back to Japan, he decided to open Freshness Burger. Supposedly, he makes this one mean burgers, even though it's a chain. So we're gonna go and taste it. Let's go in and try it. We ordered a classic cheeseburger just, just to get the feeling of the correct taste of the burger. We opted for a set menu. Meaning with set menu, you get your burger, you also can choose then which drink you want and what kind of side dish. You can choose between fries, coleslaw, uh, chicken nuggets and there was something more. We paid 2,400 yen. Burger that was just brought to our table. Well, I think it de deserves to be a bit more expensive because it just looks amazing. The McDonald's has nothing on these burgers. They just look so great. Look how beautiful this one is. It has. It's so well built. It almost looks like on the pictures. There's a salad leaf, just a tomato, a few slices of onions in between. Nice, nice looking patty. And also the bun, bun to burger ratio. It's really good. The buns are not too much, so there's not too much bread. And let's see what happens when we stick our teeth inside of this thing. Mm -hmm. mm. yeah. <clears throat> juicy as hell. It's crazy how juicy this thing is. The sauce is really nice, the flavor from the onions, the crunch from the onions, the freshness from the salad leaves, and the insane juiciness from the patty itself is making this burger so good. And this is just a chain, but this chain burger is this level, this level. You can't even see this. This is fresh burger. Oh, I never tried. I think this is my, this is the best burger of the year so far for me. It's really fresh. And it doesn't have like a really smoky flavor from the patty when you bite it. The patty is really soft, it's a bit like like, I would say like meatball style patty and if you bite it, it's just a uh, heaven I mean, I'm not sure if it's because we are hungry or the burger is good no, I would say the burger is really nice and then the, 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 the side dish I chose is um, like this kind of potato potato fries and the potato is from Hokkaido which is like a, a north part of Japan 
It's not super different from any other potatoes. But burger itself, burger, we, it's, it was a huge success. It's really, really yummy. I mean, my option for the side dish was the coleslaw, just to have something fresh. Because at the end, it is freshness burger. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They Japanized the coleslaw because I added a little bit of yuzu juice inside, so it has a light, slight citrusy flavor to it. Maybe one thing about the potatoes, I would pre prefer to have them a bit more crunchier. For me, they are a little bit soggy, but this is the only minus I have. The potatoes themselves taste really good. The burger, like I said, is awesome, but just the fries could be a little bit crunchier. Then, then this would be a perfect fast food meal. There's so much juice inside of this burger that the whole paper is just soaked. So basically, you can just use the paper leftovers as a sauce for your own burger. And it helps a lot. And I also think this is one of the few fast food chains or burger joints that you can actually drink cold tea. It's not iced tea, it's just a normal cold tea. And you can have it with your burger so you don't feel too guilty drinking something sugary, even though you really want it. Man, what a satisfying meal this was. We've talked about this in our other videos that you have to trust Japanese chains. They do things right there, completely different what you see in Western countries. Freshness burger, is a must when you are in Japan. You probably will see most burger a lot, but freshness burger I think is a, another level. Probably if you travel Japan for a long time, probably you want to try some Western food and then don't go to McDonald's or uh, Burger King. Uh, FC or yeah, those chains because I know you can try those chains in your own countries. So please, please try local chains, local uh, burger places. And with this little fact, we're gonna finish up this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you wanna see more videos, then click here, 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 wherever the videos appear. And hopefully you would smash or gently push the like button, subscribe, definitely subscribe to see more videos. And we're gonna see you next time. Ciao. Ciao.